I think Roger Ailes probably thought this is the first salvo. Trump will fire back. We'll talk behind the scenes, and it'll be good for everybody. And at this point, it doesn't look like it's going to be good for Fox News, and I think it might not have worked out the way they thought it so was. So, Mike, Donald to. Trump has broken all the rules of his campaign, and he's always been three Excuse steps me. ahead of everybody else. I had somebody last night ask me, he said, you, said, you guys, for six months, y you guys have given him positive news coverage. I said, no, we just six months ago, when everybody said he couldn't win, everybody around this could. table said he could. And when everybody was saying he didn't have a chance to get above 20%, we were saying he could, and we've been proven right every step of the way. Donald Trump has blown up every convention about politics, and now he's doing it with Republican politics, which says you can only win being obsequious to Fox News. I've got to tell you, if I ran for anything, I would be obsequious to Fox News. Nobody has the power, uh, for whatever reason he can do it, for Donald Trump to do what he does. It, it, I don't get it. It's all beyond me. I, I can't figure anything out anymore when it comes to Donald Trump. I really can't. Fox News never should have issued that statement that they issued. A news organization shouldn't be issuing a statement that sounds as if it came from an, a, a, an opposite campaign. And I don't know that, uh, you, you know, yesterday Megyn Kelly was going back at Donald Trump saying things. I like Megyn Kelly, but she shouldn't get herself involved in a in a, in a back and forth with a candidate for president. But the whole thing, Well, especially the whole if she's going to shop. be a moderator. Correct. And that's